Sekua, Sekui, Sekoi, Sekoya, Sekoya, is that right? <laughs> Toasty! Good evening everyone, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to be doing a, another reaction video. Uh, we're going to be watching Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Park. Um, this is off the back of a few, quite a few recommendations actually. Um, in the first video that I've done reacting to a, an American National Park, um, people recommended me Sequoia because I expressed how much I liked big trees and apparently this, this National Park is famous for its very big trees. Lots of um, new viewers to this channel lately. I've noticed a lot of unique viewers that I've never had before. A majority of you seem to be American, which is awesome. Welcome to the channel, guys. A little bit about me. My name's Jack, and I'm from the north of the UK. Pretty much the last city before you leave England. Um, I live right on the border between England and Scotland. So the mo most, most northern England as you can get, um, about 20 minutes until you hit the border. Um, and I just thought I'd do some reaction videos to some of your national parks. If you do have any recommendations, please leave them down below because I genuinely have no other way of finding out about these parks, other than obviously I could Google them. But it's really nice for, for it to come from you guys. Whatever state you might live in, um, tell me about your closest national parks or where you live um, I'll check it out and see if I can do a, a reaction video um, everyone's been really kind in the comments so I'm really appreciate appreciative of all the new new unique viewers that are coming to the channel if you enjoy the the, uh, the videos please uh, leave please leave a like and subscribe um, I really appreciate it and uh, I enjoy reading all your comments and responding to many as many of you as I can Love that sound. All right, let's get into it. Let's minimize me. That'll do nicely. Uh, let's play over here and watch a over there. A four to five hour drive from Los Angeles and San Francisco, okay. and just over an hour's drive from Fresno, are California's Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. Drive through a tree. Okay. If anyone's got any um, info on what that tree is, it's, it seems to just skipped over that. Um, but that seemed fairly interesting. That tree where you drive through it. Established in 1890, Sequoia National Park is named after one of the largest tree species on the planet and is home to one of the USA's highest peaks. Okay, so it is actually Sequoia National Park. It's just named after the trees. Okay. And they built a staircase into the side of that. Kings Canyon lays just to the north, plunging 2,000 feet deeper into the earth than Arizona's Grand Canyon. Yet, despite their differences, these parks share much in common. Their valleys have been shaped by the snow-fed cascades of the central Sierra Nevada, while from their soils rise giant sequoias. They look absolutely epic. I'm guessing uh, these things have been around a while. I'm going to say a few thousand years at least. They almost don't even look real, to be honest. I need a human stood next to it for scale. Some of which first put down roots 3,000 years ago, long before the rise of the Roman Empire. Three thousand Sequoia years ago, and okay. Kings Canyon National Parks are living timelines that remind us that we have small parts in a story far greater than our own. After passing Sequoia's iconic entrance sign, follow Route 198 through the park's sunlit foothills into the dappled shadows of its conifer zone. Okay, so you can you can drive through the park as well, or is that just something that is that just a, a route that goes alongside the park? Park 
pull over at Tunnel Rock, where generations of motorists left their mark before the road was rerouted in 1997. That was a road. What does it mean by left their mark? Yeah, if anyone knows any, like, this, I guess this video that I'm watching is just sort of a, an informational video, but it's maybe skipping over some of the, uh, like, interesting facts. Um, so if you, if you know anything about these things, just leave a comment below, because I, I don't really know much about what this, this person in the video is saying. Four miles on at Hospital Rock, see the marks of even earlier travelers, the Potwisha people, who for centuries used this healing place as a winter encampment. Follow the hairpins ever upwards for another eight miles. Then turn left and follow the gentle melody of Yucca Creek into the depths of Crystal Cave. Awesome. Discovered by two park employees while on a fishing trip in 1918. Why, it was discovered by park employees in 1918. Wow. Imagine being on the job and just discovering this. Incredible. These marble caves have been shaped and polished by snowmelt for over 100,000 years. It's got a little river running through it. After exploring the park's subterranean worlds, turn your gaze skyward at the Four Guardsmen, a grove of thousand-year-old sequoias. <laughs> what an awesome name. The Four Guardsmen. Look at the size of them. I can just see that car there. The size of them and scale in comparison to, to a car and us. But these are mere adolescents compared to what lays just beyond in the giant forest. Call into the giant forest museum to learn more about the sequoia tree, named after the Cherokee scholar who created the first... I was going to say, I feel like you could hollow one of those out and live in one. Looks like the... Although it probably isn't one, it just looks like a model, but... Yeah, the idea of it. I wonder how big it is if you were to hollow one out and stand inside. Alphabet for his people and inspired the creation of writing systems for pre-literate languages all over the world. Which is somewhat ironic, for as you walk beneath the 8,000 sequoias of the giant forest, chances are you'll be lost for words. I said in my first video when I was um, reacting to Yosemite National Park that there was some really red trees that I always just seemed to get really excited about. The deeper the red, the better. Um, and the bigger the tree, the better. I don't know what it is about trees, by the way. Um, whenever I'm out out in the national parks in the UK, I just, I just run off into a forest. I just love being in the middle of a bunch of trees. I just find it... Uh, just a way to de-stress and I sort of just forget about the th everything else going on in life when I'm amongst uh, a load of trees. From the museum, take the Big Trees Trail, Big trees a wheelchair-friendly circuit where you'll find favourites such as Ed by Ned, twin sequoias whose combined footprint is as large as a swimming pool. What? Okay. Two miles on from the museum, pay your respects to one of the park's elder statesmen, General Sherman, which rockets 16 stories into the sky and contains as much wood as an average 20-acre pine forest. Holy crap. 16 stories high. After straining your neck muscles looking up at one of the world's largest living beings, take the 10-minute drive to Morrow Rock. Climb the 400 steps up the bald granite dome, which juts from the mountainside. Wow, that's awesome. That's incredible. And they've made it really, um, 
I mean, I don't know if it's easy to walk up, but the the fact that they've put a staircase into the side of it must make it a lot easier to walk up than, than I would say, a scramble. That looks epic. To the west, look down on Route 198. Where... It, just by interest, is that similar to uh, Half Dome? Is, is that how... Is there a staircase built up to, to walk to the top of Half Dome? Or is that pretty much you've got to climb your way up Half Dome? zigzags up from the valley floor to the east gaze out to the peaks of the great western divide piercing the clouds at over 13,000 feet while to the north feel the call of even more adventure from King's Canyon just an hour's drive from Morrow Rock is Grant Grove Village the sole gateway to Kings Canyon National Park. After learning more about the park's human and natural history at the visitor center, explore the General Grant Tree Trail. Peer into the fallen monarch, used by the US Cavalry a century ago to stable horses. Oh, that's cool. So is that just one of those sequoia trees that's fell down? You can walk inside, it's been hollowed out. That's cool. And Gamlin Cabin, the oldest remaining structure in the park. Then stand before the General Grant, the world's second largest tree. I love how they give these uh, these trees like specific names, and they, they all seem very military named. So it's it's, uh, it's interesting. But world's second largest tree. Cool. Declared the nation's Christmas tree by President Coolidge in 1926 and a living shrine to those lost in war by President Eisenhower in 1956, the roots of this giant run deep into America's consciousness. After bathing in the forest fragrances at Grant Cove, buckle up and hit the Kings Canyon scenic byway. Yeah, I bet that Open from nice May to October, this incredible road snakes its way eastward, high above the Kings River. As the road descends and your grip on the steering wheel relaxes, take a breather by the cool mists of Grizzly Falls and Roaring River Falls. Nice. Is there any um, these waterfalls? Is there any waterfalls in these American national parks that you can walk behind, like fully get behind the waterfall? So you sort of stood underneath it, but to the back. Um, there's a, there's a few of those in in the UK that I've visited. There's some videos on my channel about them. Um, I always find it fascinating when you can walk behind behind a natural waterfall. I'll I'll put the I'll put a link below to the video of what I think is the most iconic waterfall in the north of the UK um, to walk behind. Um, it's it's really cool. I'd be interested to know if there was any in these uh, national parks in America. I, I would assume there is, let's be honest. They're, they've got everything, so why wouldn't they have that? After 30 wild, rocky miles, the road nears its end delivering you into the lush valley floor at Zumwalt Meadow. Wander the boardwalk around this picture-perfect Sierra Meadow filled with wildflowers, berries, and birdsong as the near-vertical granite giants, North Dome and Grand Sentinel, fill the sky. North Dome. So is that near Half Dome? Is this near Yosemite? I don't know the geographic placement of these parks, I apologise, so <laughs> don't roast me in the comments. Yes, that woods is exactly the woods I'm looking for. I know the trees aren't as big right there, but... I love a good woods like that. It's so red, like the deep reds, the the leaves all over the floor. Like I'm guessing the pine needles on the floor, which make the floor really spongy. Nice, just how I like them.
Whether it's the vastness of Zumwalt Meadow or the giant sequoias which reach toward the heavens, no photograph, no video, no words can fully capture the sheer scale and spirit of Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. This is a place that defies the limits of lens it's and grown language. around the boulder. A place where, as John Muir wrote, the snow melts into music, and between every two trees is a door leading to a new life. The only way to experience this place is to step through that door yourself. Just random bears just strolling about. Well, that might just be my new my new favourite national park in America. Um, simply just because of the trees. Uh, yeah, thank you for uh, the recommendation on my previous videos to that one, guys. I didn't even know that existed, to be honest. If you've got any information on the points that I've uh, that I raised in the, in the video, like the, I don't think that that video really went into too much depth on the individual things. So, if you guys know anything about it, please just let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did like it, please leave it a, a thumbs up, and if you if you want to see more of this, because I am going to be doing more, for uh, drop a subscription as well, because I seem to be getting a lot more viewers from, from America. And so many people are commenting on the videos that I feel like a lot of you want to see more of it, so I'm just going to continue to to react to some, some more of the American National Parks. So, yeah, leave your suggestions down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.